Well, you know, sometimes uh, I kind of wake up and go, wow, this is really happening. <laughs> you know, moving from an, uh, an alum, a proud alum, into coming back to teach was probably the best decision I made in my career. I had spent several years in the automotive design industry and uh, was blessed to come back to, to start to teach and fell in love with Art Center a second time. And in 2010, I took on the role of the chair of product design. And, and there is where I did learn how creativity and leadership work together. As I stepped into the interim provost role, it was at a time when we were dealing with a lot of other issues in, in the world and, and our young people in the world, our young activists were really starting to speak up. And I was able to really reflect at that time upon what it would mean to help guide young creatives to be part of a meaningful change, to leverage that creativity, to find new ways for them to engage in this world. And I think really the pandemic uh, really forced us into a whole nother level of responding as leaders and responding as an institution. And that led us to our strategic agenda. Um, this last year or so, we've really formalized what that means and there's some really important new things that we're doing. With the strategic agenda, the one area that I, I really felt is gonna change who we are as, as a college are what we're calling the omni-channel approach to the delivery of education. All of the tools, all the processes, all the platforms, the new ways of teaching and learning, all of that combined with where we're heading as an institution, not just in our degree granting, but where we're offering the non-degree programs, where we're looking at Art Center Extension and our online programs, and the ability for us to take Art Center out into the world in whole new ways, and for people all over the world to have access into Art Center like they've never had before. So these are really exciting moments for us, um, preparing ourselves to, to really um, engage with the world in, in whole new ways, with the intent being access, affordability, and inclusion. That's really what's driving us um, with these new ways of, of, of looking at Art Center. It's gonna be really important for me to spend, you know, my first 100 days really prioritizing the, the community's engagement back to campus. You know, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made with how do our spaces now uh, evolve? You know, we have a lot of construction going on. We have the incredible wind tunnel being built. We have South Campus shops starting to get built. Uh, so there's a lot of change. And, uh, and with change comes a need for really good communication and making sure that, that everybody is aware and, and part of where we're going. Well, this is a pretty incredible office, I have to say. Um, I remember somewhat being intimidated as a student coming down here when I, when I met the president at that time. You know, the one thing that I've always admired about the philosophy of this particular building, which is the, the white walls and, you know, and, and, and black structure that the color comes from the work, the color comes from the community, the color comes from the people, the students, the faculty, and the work that gets displayed on an ongoing basis. I mean, that is the soul of Art Center. <laughs>